Hey what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be trying out a brand new PS Vita emulator for android devices known as the Vita 3K ZX. Now guys Vita 3K ZX is a fork version of the original Vita 3K android emulator whose last update we got about a year ago. Since then the Vita 3K android project had been completely dead until we got the Vita 3K ZX. Now basically it is an open source PS Vita emulator for android devices which is currently in active development and it is specifically created for unsupported android devices with especially Mali GPU, so MediaTek Exynos processor and even Power VR GPU. So here you guys can see the minimum requirements for this emulator. You need at least Android version 9 or above and at least 4 GB of RAM. You can also check out some of the known issues. Now currently there are lots of builds of the Vita 3K ZX and the last latest build was released on May 30th. You guys can see the version 12.5 build 15. Now there are lot of fixes which have been made and it is a fork version of official Vita 3K. So it also includes the changes from the latest branch of Vita 3K emulator. You can check out the changelog for example fixed power VR and Mali GPU Android 10 or lower cannot run this emulator. Merge branch with Vita 3K main partially and much more. With all of that out of the way I have already added the Vita 3K ZX on my Android device so let's start setting it up right away. Here I have launched it we'll just go and select our language after a tap on the next button and then we'll need to select the path for the emulator. Once that's done simply tap on the next button and now you'll need to add the firmware as usual afterwards you need to import the firmware inside this emulator. So let me do all of that and I'll be back. Once everything has been added you'll see a small tick mark simply tap on the next button afterwards you can choose the display layout modes now for some reason the theming is a bit odd you guys can see the colors are not really matching but you can choose either grid mode or normal mode i'll go with the grid mode and simply tap on the next button after tap on ok and here we go vita 3k emulator has successfully started we'll scroll down and tap on the close button and create a new user after tap on confirm and that's about it our ps vita emulator has been successfully added on our android device now the first step which you'll need to do is start adding your PS Vita games. So for that you can either choose the PKG or zip option. I'll go with the first option. And here we go we are importing our game Assassin's Creed Liberation. So let's see if this works. And here we go it's successful. So now you guys can see I have already imported two games that we'll be testing out in today's video. But before we start with the gameplay we'll need to apply the best settings. So go to configuration afterwards go to settings. And here you will get tons of settings which will improve your performance. So first of all in terms of CPU make sure to keep everything as default. We we have the main settings which will be changing in GPU. Backend renderer should be always Vulkan afterwards. GPU, now here you guys can add a custom graphics driver by tapping on the add button and then select it in the GPU section. It is recommended that you use the Mesa Turnip Adreno driver inside the simulator for best performance and no graphical issues. The device which I am using today has a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor so we might see some graphical issues here and there but we'll check it out later on. Now in terms of screen size you can either upscale your screen size or downscale it depending on your device specification. For today's video we will be going with 1x resolution but you can definitely downscale the resolution as well as make sure to enable the FPS hack option which will make sure that your game can give 60 FPS if your device is capable of that. We will also enable turbo mode this is very important for best performance especially on snapdragon processors. After a simply tap on the save button twice then go up and that's about it you don't really need to change anything you can check out the emulator settings etc and enable performance overlay if you want to see how much fps are you getting so here i have enabled the low performance overlay i'll simply tap on the save button and close the settings once that has been done you can tap on controls and go to overlays then make sure to tap on modify gamepad overlay and uh, make sure to set the on screen touch controls according to your device screen size. So here I will have to manually adjust the controls because they are a bit messed up for some reason. Once that has been done simply tap on hide game and tap on the close button. With that being said let's try out our first game which is going to be the minecraft playstation vita game. Let's see if it works or not on our android device inside the vita 3k zx emulator. Let me know if it is zx or zx in the comment section down below. At the top left corner you guys can see we are getting about 40 to 60 fps it will take some time to boot the game and you will see pipeline compiled etc some games may or may not work depending on the compatibility vita 3k does is not capable of running all the ps vita games for now and we don't even have any support from the official developers of this emulator 
Currently all I am seeing is a black screen. There is nothing really going on so it's safe to assume that there is either a graphical issue or just that this game does not work. So we'll just go ahead and close it, tap on the exit button and try out a different game instead. So let's go with Assassin's Creed 3 Liberations. I'll simply tap on the start button and hopefully this game works. I know this game works but I'm not sure about it running on a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor Android device with proper graphical output. Now I can hear that the audio output is working but for some reason there is no graphical output as you guys can see. Which means once again it might be an issue with the Snapdragon 8 Elite processor Android device. Anyways, I'll add one more game which is the Need for Speed Most Wanted, we'll try it out and I'll be back. So there we have the final game of our today's video, let's start NFS Most Wanted and if it does not show graphical output then it is because of the device which I am using in today's video with Snapdragon 8 Elite. Now don't worry guys, I'll be testing out the simulation on my low end Android device pretty soon, we'll get a proper idea of how well does PlayStation Vita emulation work on Mali GPU Android devices. But so far you guys can see it's still showing us black screen. My device is indeed heating up but there is just no graphical output. The game is running in background but without any graphical output. Regardless, if you have a Snapdragon processor Android device which is Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 or below then it should definitely work without any issues. Well that's going to be it for today though, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.